Hey guys, what's happening? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and what I got here is the new Sony FE 85mm f1.4 GM lens. And that stands for G Master Series, which is a Pro Series lens line that Sony came out with. Um, you know, it's optimized for professionals, so everything about the lens is super high quality. So the lens goes for $1,798 US, or approximately $1,800. Uh, definitely not cheap, but you know, it, it's super high quality pro grade lens, and it's able to handle the super high resolutions of the new Sony sensors. Now check out this lens hood. It's got like a push button lock design. I like that. It actually locks into place, and that's a really cool feature. And also on the lens hood, it has a rubber rim on it. So the outer edge is rubber, so you're not going to scratch anything, and uh, you know it won't slip if it's sitting on a table, things like that. And on the inside of the lens hood, it also has that felt material to you know reduce glare. Now looking on the inside, check out the diaphragm, the aperture diaphragm. It's actually 11 blades, so the it's going to be super round, in other words, and the bokeh rendering is going to be nice and smooth as well. So it also has a manual AF and MF switch, which is quite nice. It has a focus hold button, which is a super powerful feature. And uh, if you've ever used one, it's great. It's got a very nice dampened manual aperture ring that has a click on and off feature. So for, it's great for video and photography. You know, in video mode, you can do that cool aperture sweep. You don't have to worry about the clicking, like that click, 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 click type thing. So... Um, again, very nice feature. The dampening on the focus is also excellent. It is a focus by wire design, but you really can't tell. I mean, the, the focus response is so good that uh, it's hard to tell that it's a focus by wire, honestly. Now, on the back E-mount side, there is a rubber lip there for extra weather sealing and, uh, you know, dust and moisture protection. So it doesn't stick out as much as on, like, the Loxia lens line the Zeiss Loxia lens line but it is definitely rubber and it does mount mount up nice and creates a, a pretty good seal there uh, against the lens you know the e-mount flange itself let me just show you what it looks like mounted to the camera quick and then we will move on to you know the uh, turntable and I'll go over the specs in a little bit more detail and you can see you just line up the white dot there like so so this is what it looks like mounted to the my a7r now this is the original a7r so the a7r2 is a little bit bigger and you can see it looks quite nice in my opinion you can see how just you know stout the lens is it just bulges right out like um it's pretty cool looking it's like a little you know just beefy beefy lens and the optical quality on this thing is absolutely ridiculously good so on a crop vector camera this is going to be you know approximately 127.5 millimeter so you're going to get, you know, more, it would be like a, a, a closer to a 135, you know, effective uh, focal range. So one other key feature is the weight. This thing weighs 1.8 pounds or 820 grams. So it's uh, not exactly light, but I mean, look at the glass on this sucker. I took a ton of sample photos and I was absolutely blown away by the quality of this lens. It's the best 85 millimeter lens I've ever used. Now this lens also comes with this cool pouch I wanted to show you. And this is a really high quality pouch. It'll protect the lens for sure. It's beefy padded. It's got the dual zipper with the handle here and then it velcros closed like so. So that's a very high quality unit and you can you know attach it with the tether, things like that. You can put it on your belt. It has the little belt loop on the back. So that's a nice little extra feature that it comes with. I wanted to make sure you knew about that. And of course it comes with the front and the rear lens caps and the lens hood as I discussed earlier. All right, so here's the box, and I'm just gonna go over the key features real quick on this lens. So it's obviously an E-mount full frame format lens. The aperture range is f1.4 to f16. It has one XA element and three ED elements. It's got 11 elements in eight groups. It's got the nano AR coatings. The effective focal range for a crop factor camera like the A6300 would be 127.5 millimeters. It's got 29 degree angle of view. It's got a linear supersonic wave focus system or focus motor, so super high quality, fast and quiet focusing. Internal focus design, focus hold button, AF, MF switch for manual focus, autofocus. It's got the manual aperture ring, dust and moisture resistant construction, 11 blade circular diaphragm, 77 millimeter filter thread. The minimum focus distance when using autofocus is 2.79 feet 
Manual focus, you can get a little bit closer, 2.62 feet. It has no image stabilization built in, just so you know, guys. The weight is 1.8 pounds, and the price, again, $17.98 US. All right, guys, so here we are in the lab, and this is at wide open, F1.4, and, you know, obviously 85 millimeter. And I just wanted to show you what the corner sharpness looks like and the other detail. And you can see the corner here is pretty sharp, but it does soften up a little bit. And as we creep towards the center, you can see right around here, the sharpness really starts to come in and, you know, get unbelievably sharp. So you can see right here, it's pretty much razor blade sharp at, you know, F1.4. So wide open. Now let's look at the detail on the dollar bill. And you can see with the crazy symbolism and whatnot, all the detail. So remarkable. And uh, again, wide open, F1.4. So extremely impressive in my opinion. And I'm using my Sony A7R, the original. And I apologize for the lights not showing up here. It has to do with the shutter speed and the frequency that these LED lights shine at. I'm working on getting uh, better lights. So this will be resolved hopefully by the next review. Now here's F2.8. 2.8 and you can see the sharpness I'll show you the corner how it's still just a little bit soft there in the corner and it sharpens up as you move towards the center same as the wide open aperture pretty much and the detail in the center is noticeably sharper incredibly crisp so I'll just run through the rest of these and you can see how the lights get smaller obviously this is f16 and let me just show you what F11 looks like, so you can see the detail there. And I'll go back to F8 and show you the detail there. And it, it does start to soften up a little bit at F11 due to the diffraction. And F16, again, a little bit softer than F11. So 5.6 to F8 is pretty much peak sharpness from what I'm seeing. So I just wanted to show you another minimum focus distance rendering and here you can see the bouquet ball just how large it is and how buttery the lab scene turns. I mean that's just incredible in my opinion. Excellent, excellent quality. Now when I zoom in on my focus area you can see here I focused on the American little logo on the train and you can see there is a slight blue hue around this little plaque. It's just a little bit of a lens flaw showing through there. And when I stop down, you can see how the background dramatically changes. This is f2.8, and you can see that blue goes away completely. So let me just run through this aperture run here so you can see how the background renders. And in my opinion, that's quite good. So let's move on here to some real-world photos, shall we? All right, guys, so going through the real-world photos like I said I took a ton of pictures with this lens because I had so much fun using it and uh, I went to town on the deck just playing around I just want to show you what the railing looks like how the background bouquet I mean it just it it, it just gives you that 3d pop that uh, you know you get what you pay for when it comes to a lens like this look at that I mean that's remarkable and here is just an example of focusing on the foreground versus background. So here's what it looks like on the foreground, and you can see the bricks in the background on the right-hand side here. And then when I focus on the bricks, you could see in the foreground what the flowers turn into. Here's a few more, just playing around. And this was a cool flower thing. These like little sacks of some sort. These plants don't even look real. Now here's another one uh, that just the Z scene I wanted to show you at a few different apertures. This is wide open f1.4. This is f2.8 and this is f8. All right so you can see there what kind of separation you can get on a full frame camera. And here's my buddy Jace smiling away. Such a ham bone. There's a couple more couple sunflowers on the deck and here's just a shot of the deck so you can see the depth of field fall off really clearly a couple dinosaurs Jace loves playing with these things and you can see just how sharp very good very good wide open a couple more here's another one I just didn't increase the contrast on this one a bit and you can see there is a little bit of that glowy effect you know when you're shooting wide open 
So it's not flawless, but um, exceptionally good sharpness wise. So you do get a little bit of that glowy effect wide open as we saw on the train lab photo. And here's Layla. I was just shooting over the deck railing aiming down at her. She was down picking up some toys that Jace threw off the deck. <laughs> and this one I liked in particular. I actually edited a bit here. And I wanted to show you just the clarity on the eyes there. Just look at those beautiful eyes. And you can see me in the reflection actually shooting downward off the deck railing. So I was really happy with that photo. And here's Bones Jones. This is actually shooting through the deck railing. We have a gate set up to keep him, you know, away from Jace the baby because he'll just knock him over. He's a beast. But you could see how just magical. It's got that magical look to it. And here's uh, our friend Helene playing with Bones. And Bones <laughs> managed to slurp her right in the face. Look at that shot. So I was pretty happy with that. Oh, this is a cool little uh, sculpture thing that uh, Layla and Jace made at the babysitter's house. And it was a perfect example to show the bouquet balls. So I took a bunch of different shots. This is f1.4. And this is out of focus, obviously. And this is in focus. So you can see what it looks like for real. And then just playing around here, trying to get some cool effects. And uh, I, just, I thought it was just fun, you know. And, and it just, just shows you what kind of rendering this lens is capable of on a full-frame camera. And uh, very impressive. This is f 1.4, 2.2, 4, f4, and this is f7.1. This is f3.2. This is f2, just one of those cool Pontiacs. Here's a picture of my dad. This is extremely low light, f1.4, ISO 1000. This is at Layla's recital. And here's just a snapshot of Layla. I got a ton of snapshots, but look at this sharpness. F1.4, guys, and just look at that. I mean, that's remarkable. These are all raw quality, by the way. Only a few of them did I touch up, and I'll tell you if I did. But otherwise, they're straight off the camera, and you can just see the color and contrast here. Obviously, I can jack the contrast up and make it much better, but I want I want you guys to know what this lens can do in the real world, you know, with raw quality. So, again... Here's one, and you can see I focused on Layla, and Jace is in the foreground. I didn't quite nail the focus on this, but I just love the expressions captured. And you can just see Jace was only about two feet in front of Layla, so the, the separation and depth of field is extremely narrow. So, you, you know, the A7R II would be a much better option for accurate focusing with uh, moving children and whatnot. But as long as your subjects are fairly still, the a7r the original um, does an excellent job i had a good time using it for sure and this is one of my dad i just focused on the shoes and then focused on him again to show you the foreground background type situation there and here's chloe my parents dog and just to give you an example of the hairs and the detail and you could see you know it just has a little bit of that glowy look when shooting wide open and here's a layering effect there. Layla's out. The dog is in. My brother in the background is out. A couple more. Chloe. Let's show you the sharpness again. You can see it's just excellent. And this is my parents' car. They were actually getting their driveway um, paved. But I focused on the Cadillac emblem there. And you can just see. Uh, excellent. I mean, even with the chrome highlights there. It's just really, really good quality. And here's my brother's Harley. He's got this badass screaming eagle fat boy and um it's a really awesome machine I, I gotta say i'm not the biggest fan of uh harleys because they're so expensive and everything for what you get in my opinion but this really is a nice bike now you can see some purple uh fringing there on the highlights so the lens is not perfect when shooting wide open but it's really good overall for sure so there's definitely some noticeable purple there in the highlights, the specular highlights and stuff. Easily correctable, by the way, in a program like what I'm using here, which is Capture One Professional. And I do have a few tutorials on my YouTube page to get you going on this program. It actually is free for, comes with the Sony cameras, the uh, Express version. And it has all the lens profiles in there. So, you know, you can get going pretty quick on this if you watch my tutorials on it. Check out this one. See all these cool specular highlight bouquet balls? 
really happy with the results on this particular shot. Now here's some uh, daisies and I just focused on this one here in the foreground and you can see all the little you know buds in there on the flower excellent really good and here's another one just to show you a different focus point here is just some playground apparatus and this one I thought was kinda cool just showing you the fall off and how the bouquet balls get bigger you know with distance and whatnot took these for the pattern challenge on the forum now here's a feather and that was laying on the ground and then again this is wide open f1.4 and just look at that I mean that is excellent quality here's a change just showing you the background out of focus how it changes this is f6.3 versus f1.4 very very good again now this I focused on these little boats in the background and you can see the details pretty good it's a little bit, it's got that little bit of a glowy effect that we mentioned earlier, but overall quality is very good. And you can see in the foreground here, this is totally out of focus, this little barbecue thing. And same with the trees, you can see the tree bark. Just look how cool that looks. It almost has this like wavy painted look to it. Very big fan of this lens. I gotta tell you, it's unbelievable. Now this is just another layering effect to show you the foreground background separation. Here's one of Jace on the playground. And the A7R really did a good job focusing. It's fast enough for, you know, general photography for sure. I mean, he was moving around and it, it nailed the focus pretty well. Now this one, I focused on these people on this picnic bench here. And you can see the background is out of focus a little bit. And the foreground obviously is out of focus. Moving on, this is just some more playground stuff. Here's another one, just one of those fall off type shots. And me and Jace were going down the slide, so I just took a quick picture um, while I was up there, my feet. <laughs> Here's another one of Jace. Layla was swimming in the pool. I particularly liked just the separation of this image. And you can see the, you know, the railings for the different ladders and whatnot in the background. Pretty interesting effect. Here's Layla with her cousin, Austin, playing in the pool, having a good time. Their pool's heated, so the kids pretty much never got out. Here's one of Austin. I just wanted to show you the sharpness on the eye there. Quite good. Here's one of Layla, and I was really happy with how this came out. These are all raw again, unedited. I did not touch these photos at all. So this is the original crop and everything on this. And you can see again, the sharpness is excellent. Very good detail, nice 3D effect. Here's one of Layla on the slide. Now this image, I really liked the Jace, but I missed the focus, I, I, unfortunately. He was really close to me and he was moving. So the camera was not able to focus fast enough. This is a great example of where the A7R II would have excelled in focus speed and probably nailed this shot. But the A7R was just a little too slow. And here's another handsome handsome boy here playing on the uh, raft. And just look at those eyes and the sharpness. Just incredible. A couple more flowers on the deck. I just wanted to show you wide open f1.4 versus f2.8 versus f4 so you can see all the rendering the balls are nice and round here even when it's not wide open thanks to that 11 blade aperture diaphragm gives you a nice rendering no matter what aperture you're at and here again f4 versus f1.4 see the difference here's a couple more of jace I was pretty happy with these looking down you could see that just 3d i mean it, the the depth of field is so thin you know that the uh, the out of focus area is just huge so you can see I slightly missed the focus here you can see it's on like the very edge of the eye and the eyebrow but I still like the shot here's a couple of Layla hamming it up for the camera this focus I think is pretty darn good yeah this one it nailed the focus on this one here it's happy with that considering how close you can see her face. She's got gook all over her face. <laughs> this is one of Jace here. I absolutely love this. He does this, um, you know, he does this growl. He's like, rrr, rrr, like when he gets excited. And this is the face he makes. So when I caught when I caught this capture, I was super happy with it because, you know, this is a face that we know he makes all the time. I actually edited this photo just to enhance it a bit. So here's the raw file. This is a slightly edited version. 
And now I went over to the bus, that cool old school bus. I wanted to go back over there and grab a couple of shots with this incredible lens. And here's a few depth of field samples. So this image, I focused on the flower or the weed, I should say, in the foreground. And you can just see that buttery uh, background. And now this time I focused on the background and there she is. And you can see the weeds in the foreground here. They just butter right out. And the contrast is a little bit lower in this image. This is a raw file, but overall it's very good in my opinion. Now here's a, another one where I just played with the depth of field. So I focused on the flowers in the foreground. And then here I focused on the bus in the background. So there's the foreground focus and background focus. And this is just a, you know, a side view here so you can see the depth of field fall off with the lines on the bus. I thought that was a pretty cool sample photo. Now here's an F8 versus F1.4. Same image. I mean, that's just impressive, if you ask me. And just another angle on the side. And can you believe the number of this bus is 007? How cool is that? And it's also named Big Smokey, apparently. I just I went around to the back for the first time and saw that. Now this image, the white balance is a little bit green, but uh, it is what it is. These are, you know, raw files, so you guys are seeing what I got. Now here's one just looking up, and uh, I focused on the middle of the window area, these drops, and you can see the lights on the top, how they render. And another reflector there on the side. And then we went to the park the other day. Had some fun. Here's Jace on the slide. He's doing great. He's doing so good, this boy. Love him so much. And then, uh, oh, here he is peekabooing through the fence. He was having so much fun at the park, I gotta tell you. We had a blast. This was him going down the slide by himself. He was so excited he did it by himself. He's like, ah! He's like, I did it! Rah! <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm just a proud dad, I guess. So here's Layla. They got this cool tube there. It's like one of those tubes that goes under the road, and they have it in the playground for kids to play in. And uh, I took a couple of shots of Layla in there, and I was pretty happy with the results. Look at her face. She was making all these funny faces. And here's one where she's actually smiling. I'll just show you the detail there. It's uh, very good, in my opinion. And here's another image I took at F4. This was the actual park we were playing at. And I just wanted to show you the sharpness at f4, and this was a good detail shot to show that off, I thought. So you can see just the detail. I mean, it's incredible. Clarity and just crisp, crisp results. Took one more image here on the deck of a sunflower at the golden hour. The most recent photography challenge on the forum is golden hour so if you guys have any golden hour photos be sure to share them on the forum all right guys so as you can see the performance of this lens is outstanding at least based on how i like to use you know lenses and stuff in the real world and uh, i was extremely impressed with it the build quality is also excellent the dampening on the uh, aperture and focus ring are really really nice and uh, it is really weather sealed with that rubber ring on the back you know where it mounts up so you know there's no doubt about it the price is a lot i mean eighteen hundred dollars is a lot of money but you do get what you pay for with this product in my opinion i would love to have this lens in my arsenal so please feel free to uh, ask questions down below let me know what you thought of the review uh, one way or another i appreciate the feedback now here's Sony Alpha Lab. This is the main website, so be sure to check this out for the latest highly detailed reviews. And then here's the forum. And this is the What's Hot area. So this is where I post all the promoted forum activity. So, you know, deals, um, killer photos from users on the forum are going to be here. And you can see just the unbelievable talent on the forum that uh, is sharing photos so there's a lot of really really talented members and uh, people are great they're super helpful very friendly forum so be sure to check that out this is the main forum page so you can see all the different thread topics and things like that a lot of stuff going on and then here I have a, a actual thread with sample photos from this you know 85 millimeter lens and you could check these out if you want to see higher res versions of the photos and what they'll look like when you post them on the web you know if you're going to share them on forums and stuff 
So, and then here is the YouTube channel. So be sure to check out the YouTube channel as well. And for all the latest reviews and tutorials. And here's the Capture One tutorials I was telling you about earlier. And here's some Lightroom tutorials if you want to learn how to process some raw files, you know, with my spin on things. And have a great day, guys.